Former Minister of Information and former presidential candidate of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, Jerry Ghana, has stated that Nigerians are the most miserable in Africa as nothing is working in the country. He was speaking on Saturday at a retreat organized by the Kogi People's Democratic Party Renaissance Group in Abuja. Jerry Ghana averred that majority of those suffering are youths. He also said youths have become jobless, frustrated, and hopeless as a result of the harsh economic policies of the current administration. Now, in his own words, I quote, in the misery index nigeria is the highest in africa we are the most miserable set of people in africa because nothing is moving in fact our currency is now 100 percent devalued nigeria is going through a very difficult time the level of indebtedness in the past few years is such that every nigerian is now in debt the naira is perhaps one of the most useless currencies in africa today I have never seen this level of corruption as we have today. In fact, the level of corruption makes the PDP government look like angels because corruption is now a thousand times worse. End of quote. Gentlemen, well, Nigeria being the most miserable in Africa. Yeah, when, 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 when politicians talk about nothing is working, I want to believe that they are being hyperbolic because you can't take that literally. Certain things work in Nigeria, hmm. not very efficiently, but there's not a complete collapse. But the issue with politicians is that they want to be melodramatic, they want to get attention, they, they want to be applauded. And to do that, they tend to stretch the truth. They get into propaganda, I call propaganda tendentious manipulation of information. The information is there, then you twist it around to serve your own personal interest. Mm. Uh, so I, I don't totally agree with him. But then he made interesting points. He talked about joblessness. He talked about hopelessness. He talked about on the part of the youth and um, the state of the naira, debt, the foreign debt, uh, mm. uh, the naira dropping. Those are facts. Those are those are incontrovertible facts. Um, and we should hold our leaders accountable for all this degeneration in quality of life, uh, in dangerously high levels of unemployment, and so on and so forth. When he talks about uh, misery index, I don't know where he got that from. I've seen social index. I've seen a lot of indices in the past, but I've never heard of misery. There's a misery index. Misery index. So there is. Maybe, maybe there is. Yeah, there is. Okay, I've never heard of it. <laughs> but I don't know if he's going by his own assessment. In absolute terms, because Nigeria has a large population, if half of Ghanaians are miserable, it will be like 10 million persons. Hmm. But if 20% of Nigerians are miserable, it will be like 40 million. That's 40 true. million persons. So, hmm. in absolute terms, because of our number, hmm. it, might, it might be correct. But relatively, relatively, I don't hmm. think Nigeria is that miserable. Although our social indices run, rank with those of war torn countries like Somalia, Afghanistan, hmm. Sierra Leone, and Liberia at some point. Hmm. It, 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 it's heart rending, it makes you want to cry. Hmm especially considering the resources available to this country and the kind of human resources we have. Mm. Uh, it's sad that we're in this situation. But then a politician is being a politician. He keeps telling, and he told us that PDP is an alternative. And that leaves us is with a big question mark. Many Nigerians will not agree. So he's trying to sell his party, maybe position his, his party for the next election. Okay, so, so you think this is all political no, talk? No, no, there are some okay. truths to what he said. Okay. But I think there's also a political undertone to it. Okay. So it's politics plus facts. All right, I okay. But well, how do you react, uh, Chief of Fosse? Do you think facts. he's uh, uh, stretching the truth, like Mr. Zukama said? Uh, you see, I, I, uh, the same thing again yesterday at an event. I spoke to a friend, group of friends, and I told them that um, the day we go back to Maslow hierarchy of needs, uh, we will understand that what governance really means. Mm. Now, what is the man talking about? He keep making an emphasis on Naira. He didn't talk about you are making away from Oron 
to Bichi. He didn't talk about your tarry road from Akwaibo to Sokoto. He didn't also mention that you are building waterways. All those things are good and infrastructure. What the man was stressing is that a common need, which is psychological need of man. What is it? The currency to buy what you need to buy. All right? And the emphasis I made to my friends yesterday was that 50,000 Naira as at 2014 when I earned 50,000 Naira as my salary. I'm not joking. I'm saying it on the national TV. The people know where I work. I don't want to mention the company. As a senior correspondent, hmm. 50,000, 2015. It was feeding me and, and your my family. wife and my son. And I was living in two bedroom flat in Lagos. Patient today, 5,000 Naira. I cannot fuel my car. If I need to fuel my car, it's 12,000 to the tank. All right? Now, the light I am using, if I need to buy, is 10,000 Naira for two weeks. All right? Now, food again. <coughs> As at that time, when I gave my wife, 2015, I am saying this so that what uh, the man said shouldn't look like it's a political statement. Mm -hmm. So that we all understand what Jerry Ghana said. I am, I'm not excusing him from the rocks. It's part of it. He's been in government for God knows how long. Both in military and in the civilian. He was a key player in the PDP. As at that time, I used in 2015, every weekend I used to give my wife 4,000 naira for the food for the weekend till Wednesday. 2,000? 4,000. Oh, 4,000, okay. For the food from Saturday, Sunday, Monday. For the week? No, until Wednesday before I now draw something again. Okay. To take us till another Friday, then I will now give. Okay. Patient today, 25,000 naira is not enough. For the weekend. <laughs> no, listen, I am just telling you so that people that are watching us will understand. I listened to Mr. Zukama also living in that realm of Jerry Ghana speaking the English that Jerry Ghana was speaking. So I'm breaking it down now. I spoke Jerry Ghana's English. No, the English is that you were you said that the things are not totally collapsed, that things some things are working. Um, I am telling you where he is talking to because he didn't tell you about building roads. Building building out. He's not talking about infrastructure. Structure. That's He's what he's talking about. Common food. Basic needs. That is Naira. Okay. And that's why he tells you about Naira mm -hmm. is devalued, has been devaluated of almost the value. Devalued 100%. More than 100%. More than 100 mm -hmm. Now, what does an average person feel about governance? Waking up, all right? Why are we all rushing to? Why are Nigerians all rushing to the US? Why are Nigerians all rushing to other countries? So that when you have ten dollars, you can eat with your ten dollars and you still save. I mean hundred dollars rather. Mm. When you have when you earn hundred dollars, you know that you have some money in your pockets. Mm -hmm. Alright? Now <clears throat> hundred dollars in Nigeria today is approximately about fifty thousand. Just put it like that. Approximately about fifty thousand because it's about fifty nine thousand something for forty seven. 470 naira okay at that point all right so what are we doing about that that is what the man is saying and that is why there will be corruption because an average man cannot wait and see his children going to bed with empty stomach and that's why there is going to be crime everywhere do you understand what I'm saying? That's what the man is saying. He's not talking about you tarring road, and that's what I was telling my friends. It's not about you. I, I understand that this government has done well, fairly well in infrastructural development. Okay, they've tried to bring back. Yes, there are a lot to be done. Okay, we understand that. But when you meet an economy on its knee, what you need to do is to give people hope on how to feed is to and then ensure that people can whatever they earn they can eat from it and save from it maslow hierarchy of needs like i said is that hello if you don't meet your psychological needs 
you are not going to talk about safety net. It's not going to come. Because if you don't, if you are not fed well, <coughs> you don't think about anybody can rob you. And that's why people that are homeless are not being robbed. Mm -hmm. And that's why people that don't, don't have anything in their pocket, don't wear this word, don't have food, are not being robbed. So, at the end of the day, what is government doing about it? Our psychological needs is, is, is completely gone. Nigerians don't have uh, 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 consumption, um, um, uh, purchase, purchase power anymore. You can't buy anything. You can't obviously buy anything. I was talking to somebody about betting. I mean, to digress a little bit. And he said, Nigerians, they said Nigerians are betting. I Nigeria, the, 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 in Thailand, in Thailand, that the, the unemployment rate is just about 2%, play more betting than Nigeria. That you don't play betting where people don't have purchasing power. Because you need to eat first before you even think about it. All right, we'll come back and continue uh, with this conversation. Nigerians being the most miserable people in Africa, according to Jerry Ghana.